morning, another day in Rome, I put on this dress which has long sleeves and is over the knee because I am going to the Vatican today and you have to um, uh, comply with a certain dress code, so I put that on. And it's 8 o'clock right now and I'm going out for breakfast. No, Get to breakfast. <laughs> I really took a bite, but this is my breakfast. Colosseum over there and then on the right we have the Forum Romanum which is where I'm going right now. Here we are, the Forum Romanum. So there are mo so many pieces of pillars and pillars and rocks and stones that are all just here of what the buildings used to be. Some walls that are left and just some pieces that broke or fell or got destroyed. Everything's so big, I love it. Over there, the white building with the horses and the guy on top. That's where I was yesterday and that's probably my favorite building in the city. This is what used to be the temple of Saturn. So basically what this Forum Romanum is, is this was the, the center of all activities here in Rome. It was the center of all of Italy, where all the interesting stuff happened. The political, um, I guess, debates cultural epicenter all of that was just here the temple of romulus this is one huge rosemary plant look at the beautiful details off to the next places orange trees and a rose garden there's more down there i don't know what there is but there's more look at these flowers it smells amazing here in this garden whoa look it's a seagull in the water Seagulls are so big, I forgot how big they are. I seriously thought I was just standing on a hill, but I'm standing on top of all these buildings that are made to look like a hill. Look at all those houses with the plants on top on their roofs. It's beautiful. And those super weird tall trees too, those are amazing. and the Spanish steps. So tall. Not gonna climb them right now. I wanted to go to the Vatican today but then I realized that I have all day tomorrow so I don't have to check out tomorrow. I have to check out on Friday. Tomorrow is only Thursday. So I think I'm gonna do the Vatican tomorrow so that I have a longer time and I can go to the museum as well. Good morning. It is 8.30 right now. I'm still a little bit sleepy because I just woke up half an hour ago. Um, I feel like I'm finally in the European rhythm, like time-wise, that I can finally go to bed at the time here instead of Taiwan time. Anyway, I wanted to go to the Vatican today, but um, I couldn't find any tickets online. They were all sold out, and online they were like 35 euros. Well, you can get them at the Vatican, if they still have them, for 17 euros. So I'm just going to go over there after I have breakfast and hope that I can get the tickets. Because today is kind of the last day I can get the tickets because tomorrow I have to leave even though my flight's at night. I still have to um, check out earlier and leave my luggage here and all that. So I'm going to ride a bike to the Vatican today. Vatican. 
It looks like it's going pretty fast, so hopefully I won't be here more than half an hour. So this is the, just a security check to go into the basilic. We made it through the check, which is not surprising because I always pack so that I can pass a check. Here we go, maybe not. There we go. I wonder how long it took to build all of this and to make all those paintings and mosaics on top, covered in gold. I'm not sure what we're looking at here. Oh, it's a doll. Yeah, it's a doll. I wasn't sure for a second, but it's a doll. This is all very, very impressive. So, this is the tomb of Apostle Peter. Wow. They're burning all these candles. I really can't get over all the gold. It's so pretty. Yay, they also say exit in Chinese. That was the basilic, now I'm gonna find out how to get to the Vatican Museum. Oh. Oh. I love all the different suits of the guards, they're so cool. I got the ticket and I sat down for coffee because I have to wait another 20 minutes and then I'm gonna go. Coffee! We're on the way. Waiting for the ticket. Just did another security check. Voila! Got the ticket! So I paid 28 euros to skip the line and the ticket's only 8 euros for me so that's kind of meh. But then I would have to wait 3 hours in line. Change your ticket to the window. Let the adventure begin again. It's all a little bit confusing. I'm not sure where exactly I'm going right now, but we'll see. We'll go here first. This painting represents the birth of a saint, and the baby is just standing up by their face board. I just think it's the funniest. These are all tapestries. This is so big. I wonder how long it took to make it. This is the Last Supper, right before Jesus' crucifixion. So I think each of these paintings took two years to make. So I guess they make the stone over the metal, over the wiring. I never knew that. St. George and the Dragon. So these are the whole grounds of the Vatican. Um, that's the basilic I was in this morning and right now I'm in a museum somewhere, I don't know where. <laughs> Let's go upstairs first. Enkuri from Egypt. It's a real mummy. And here too. So this is like the tomb of St. Helena. Gallery or geographic cards. Wow. There are maybe over a hundred paintings on top of the ceiling. Oh my goodness, that's a face. That's so scary. It's the biggest one yet. I mean, look at the person in front of it and then see how big this is. I like all, I mean every inch of this room is painted. Now we're in the garden or in the square outside. This is still a long way to go. Back at the square where we started. The water looks like I just want to go for a dive, but then gross. Finally sitting down for lunch, pasta and red wine, and I just bought this food. The guy look, looks like he's falling. <laughs>
look it looks like it's falling. <laughs> Back home. Good morning. I am almost packed. It's 8.30 right now. I just took a shower and I checked in for my flight tonight. Oh, and my host is so nice because I have to check out before 11, but she is going to let me leave the luggage here until I leave. So I'm going to catch the train at 4.30. So I can leave my luggage here until like 4, um, something like that. And she even said if I want to, I can freshen up in another room and take a shower. But I think I'm just going to, you know, leave my luggage here and pick it up later. I'm basically packed. That's my suitcase and my. I'm waiting for my camera battery to be charged. I don't know how long that's going to take, but I kind of want to get out of here. My hand luggage, my check, uh, my carry-on and my bag for my laptop. I'm going to bring this laptop and get some work done. Also, this is what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing these super funky pants. I love these. My little sister gave them to me and a, just a tank top. That's it. Um, because I brought a sweater from the plane and I can just, this is pretty comfortable, pretty airy, pretty light and I don't have to change this day. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you had a good time. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because next week there's gonna be a video of me and my friends in the Netherlands and they're gonna try out some Taiwanese snacks. So stay tuned for that. See you next week.